Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul. This one is from the second Dollar Tree store that we went to. Not quite as big as the first one. Um, it still may have to be broken up into a couple videos though. So I'm just going to jump in. This stuff is kind of mixed up. I didn't get it put together by category. So the first thing I found were these Buffalo Check Pumpkins. And it doesn't say how big they are, but they're like a pretty good size. Like this takes up my entire hand. So they had them in black. They had them in orange. And then they had them in a blue. However, the color blue that they used was like a royal blue. And to me, it just didn't really say fall. Didn't feel like fall to me. It seemed like something that would be more for like right now during the summertime. So I left those ones at the store. I didn't pick those up. If it had been like a teal color, I probably would have grabbed it. Um, then they had these little fake corn. Now I think I've seen some other people haul packages of smaller sized corn and you get like four in there. Uh, this is the larger size so you only get two. Um, they are five inches it says. So five inch corn pieces. They had this uh, was like the darker version. You'll see the little like black and dark brown beads on there. And then this one was the lighter version here, so you can see the difference. This one just has a lot of light uh, yellows and really light oranges. So I picked up one each of those. My daughter found two new packages of crayons from Crayola. So these ones are Uni Crayons, it says. So it's an eight pack. This is what your little picture looks like on the front there. And then these ones say Cosmic Crayons. I don't know if these ones are supposed to be sparkly or not. Because they are showing like some stars and stuff on the front. But if you have little ones that are getting ready to go back to school or even just for your homeschool. I know I homeschool. I buy quite a bit of our school supplies from Dollar Tree because it's super cheap. And they're just as good as what you get at the regular store. And you can find, like, these are Crayola, so you can pick up name brands there also. Um, if you have children that are going back to a public school, they need to wear, like, an ID around their neck. I know we used to have to keep a school ID on all the time. Um, they have, now these are by Juncture brand. This is the brand that everyone uh, has been hauling socks from. I know I picked up a crap ton of their socks from the first Dollar Tree that I went to and they are good quality and these are good quality. These are like silky feeling. So they had a black buffalo check and this is the piece that snaps together when you put it around your neck and it has the little lobster claw closure on it. So they had the buffalo check here they had a white background ribbon with different colored polka dots, and I forget what the other one was, but then I picked up uh, the buffalo check in this one because fall is coming up. This one is super cute. I don't know if you can see in the light very well, but this is like a very light tan background and these little orange bicycles. So they are orange and they have little purple and orange and green flowers and the little uh, spokes on the wheels are sort of like a tealish blue color. So I thought that was really, really pretty for fall. We've got fall coming up and I picked these up because my daughter and I go hiking and whenever I'm out or when we're mountain biking, I like to keep my keys on me because I have a little thing of pepper spray on there in case like a bear would come out. We do live in Missouri. We have a problem right now in the city I live in with bears coming up into people's yards and we had a mountain lion following some people in one of the local parks. So I keep that on me whenever we're out somewhere just in case. This way I can keep it where it's just easy access. I can just pick it up. I'm not digging through a bag trying to find it. So um, I don't know which one of us will use the check and which will use the bicycles but I picked up one each for us and I thought those were really really cute. 
They also would make a good like classroom gift. I know uh, whenever I was still in school, they used to always put um, in the notes on like your school supply list, they would say for everyone to bring like an extra box of tissues and sanitizer and that kind of stuff for the classroom itself. Those might be something good too to donate, especially for like middle and high school, like I said, when they have the school IDs. Then I found um, these were the gold toe brand socks. Now the other Dollar Trees that I went to did not have any gold toe brand. This was the only one that did. So these ones are the gold toe luxury. And they are this nice light gray. And then of course your golden yellowish thread. They are super thick. So this is how thick just one sock is. And these actually had the original price tag still on them. So one pair of these socks was originally $8. So I picked up a pair for each of us, myself, my daughter, and then my grandmother. Get all of these up here. Then they had some knee-high socks. So these are Gold Toe True Fit Arch Support. You get two pairs in this one of knee highs. Uh, they are both the same, so they both have this striped pattern that you can see. And this is a nice, uh, just solid black and gray. So you get like the black, you get like a medium gray color down here, and then a light gray up here. So these ones were originally $14. And they are really stretchy. I know um, I picked up some of the Juncture brand knee highs that I found that were really cute, but they didn't have a lot of stretch to them. And I have big calves, so I have to have socks that will stretch over them. So these ones here stretch quite a ways as you can see so they start here these should be fine and they are a good brand they're gold toe so they're made well i'm not worried about threads popping and snapping and stuff if i put these ones on so i did pick up one of those then they had um these ones are not the arch support these are just regular uh two pairs of knee highs by gold toe and your front is has this little diamond pattern and I know there's a name for this pattern on it but I cannot think of it to save my life right now so this is like different shades of purple and gray and then your back pair is just a nice solid black now these ones are not quite as thick as those uh last pair were and then these ones kind of have if you can see on there a little scalloped edge on the top of these socks and these ones also originally retailed for $14. So then they had these ones, which I've never seen before, even in the regular stores. So these ones are called Silver Toe, and it says a gold toe brand. So the same company. This was two pairs of knee highs again. Now this one is more of a uh, pink, where the other one was purple in that nice little diamond pattern. So your first pair is that. Your second pair, again, is just a plain black. But these ones just have the regular flat edge on the top of them. And these ones originally retailed for $11. And these things are good. I know uh, I wear boots a lot in the fall time. I love wearing boots and I love fall, everything about fall. If you have somebody who wears a lot of boots, knee highs are good to get for them. But they also make really good stocking stuffers for Christmas, which is coming up or just something quick to throw into a gift bag just to add a little bit more to it. So for a dollar, if you can pick up sets of socks that were at 11 to $14, that's really nice. So I picked up that pair of the pink ones, and then they had, again, the silver toe ones, and these ones are in different shades of blue. I know they kind of look gray on the camera, but they are actually um, like this is a navy blue and then sort of like a denim blue and then just a very light blue. And then your back pair on this one, instead of being black, is actually just a navy blue. 
Again, I know it looks darker on the camera. And these ones also originally retailed for the $11, but they have got this sticker ripped a little bit that was on there. Then I found uh, in their kitchen section, my other stores did not have these. This is the first time I've seen them. I thought they were really, really cool. These are by Cooking Concepts. They are little veggie storage boxes. So they are freezer safe, dishwasher safe, BPA free. Can't go in the microwave, but you really shouldn't be microwaving your strawberries and things anyway, I don't think. But uh, it has a little basket inside. This is like two different pieces. So you get this little colored basket inside with the little vented holes, and then you get the clear outer casing and then the lid that locks onto there. I thought that'd be really nice. We just bought some strawberries today from Aldi. So I will get those washed and sliced and then I will put them in one of these in the fridge. That way they're ready to go. All we have to do is pull them out and eat them. They had a lime green, this really pretty teal color, a nice gray, if you wanted something that would kind of go with everything. And then they had this nice bright red which sort of looks pink on camera, but it's actually a red. These also would be good. I know some people are going back to college right now um, to keep in your little dorm fridges and everything. So the next bag They've got these wrapped up decent. So I picked up these little ramekins. I've tried to find them at my other stores. I've seen some other people haul them. Couldn't find them anywhere. I could only find the little plastic ones that they had. And I really needed the stoneware ones because I need them for going in the oven. And I finally found them today. They had red and they had white. All of my new dishes that I just hauled from my discount store not too long ago are white. So I picked up the white so that it would match. So they have these nice little ridges on them. It doesn't say uh, how big of a diameter it is, but they are microwave safe, dishwasher safe, and oven safe. So I picked up six of those. Those will be good for like French onion soup and some things like that that we make. I'm gonna have to get my light turned on. Okay, we're back. I got my little ring light set up now so maybe things will show up a little better. The next thing that I picked up was this um, skimmer. So this is for like whenever you're frying foods to scoop them out and it lets the oil drip off of them. So this one says it is dishwasher safe and it's just by Cooking Concepts brand. Again, it's like Dollar Tree's brand. Uh, so then my daughter found a little Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles puzzle. So this is 46 pieces. Um, and then another little set of crowns. These are the neon. And then she found a little... Um, like with the fake food, this is like a little fake um, dishwashing thing. So you get like a little fake dish drainer and then uh, some little soap bottle and some different little plates and cups and things. And then these little squishy animals were at the checkout lane. So this one, is it a mouse and a duck? Or a pig and a duck. I'm not sure. It might be a pig and a duck. But these come in a little two-pack for a dollar. Um, these are Squishy Pals. 
So she got, I think that's supposed to be a pig and a duck. And then this one is like a duck and a panda bear. And then a little unicorn and I think a sheep or a hedgehog, something in there. Then they had these um, like fake wood grain pumpkins. So they had the little tall ones. And they did have a this light color, which is like a white, and then they had a darker brown color. So I picked up the white, so this is the tall one, and then you have your little wide one. So I thought those were cute. We will add those to our fall decor. And then, of course, my daughter found some new scarves. So this one is just a regular scarf. It is just striped green, white, and yellow. And then there is this one. And this one is a little bit different and it came in a package. So this one here is by the brand Expressions. It doesn't have like another price tag on it, so I don't know what it was originally. And this one comes with the little ring to hang it on. And it is this brown and green kind of splotched design. So she got those two new scarves. Then this store had some different signs than what our other one had. These ones are super cute and these are metal. So it looks like a little wagon. Let's try to get that price tag behind there. So they have this blue one with the pumpkins that says happy fall y'all. And then they have the little red wagon. And this one says farm fresh pumpkins. Then I picked up, uh, last time I had hauled sets of the black paper plates from the party section for some Halloween crafts. This time I ended up finding some orange, so I picked up both sizes of those as well. So you get the small ones and then like the dinner plate sized. So these are nine inch plates and you get 20. And then on the seven inch plates, you get 24. So I picked those up for some more crafts that I'm going to be doing. And then I found these in the kitchen section. I've been looking for them. This was the first time that I've seen them in one of our Dollar Trees. They are these silic by Scrub Buddies silicone scrubber. It says it's dishwasher safe, durable, and flexible. So you are supposed to use these like for washing your dishes and replace the traditional sponges so they don't like start falling apart and get really smelly. So I thought I would give them a try. They had a gray, this navy blue, and then this teal color. And they are double-sided. They have a little loop if you want to hang them up, like if you have one of those suction cup hooks in your sink to let them drip dry. Then uh, finally found these. Our other stores that we normally go to have been out of them. They are the Tumbling Tower Blocks. This store had some in, so I picked up two sets of those for crafting. My daughter found a really funky little rainbow furry pin thing here. It's got a little fuzzy top on it, and then the grip of it is that nice fur. I picked up these. Uh, now, I did see these the last time I went, but I did not grab them. So this time I went ahead and picked them up. You get 90 wood beads in here for a dollar, and they are the long beads. So the only thing I don't like about them is that they are painted. I wish they had been just plain wood, but it's fine. We can paint over them and do something different. But you get yellow, green, purple, red, and blue in there. Uh, and then my grandmother was almost out of aspirin, so she picked up another one of those. 
you get a hundred in there for a dollar. <clears throat> okay, and then this is the last bag from this second store. So my daughter found this little hair bow. And these are the nice ones. They are on the little, um, I think these are called like an alligator clip. I don't know if you can see underneath there, but it just is made like that. And the clip itself is covered with a ribbon, so it's not scraping or pulling on their hair. So she picked up one of those. And then they had, um, this was the first store that I've saw, that I've seen these at. So they had the Halloween wooden cutouts at the last store, which is like the little jack-o'-lantern face and the ghosts and the witch hats. This store had a set of eight little wooden foxes. And they have the little hole on top, so I think they are meant to be ornaments. And they have the little jute strings to tie them up. But you could use them for other things, don't have to be an ornament. So my daughter wanted to pick those up to paint them. Then she found this uh, wall sticker for her room. So this is what it is supposed to be once it's all laid out. Is this little unicorn face. So you get all of the stickers to create that. And it is front and back. So it says, some of them tell you how many you get. This one doesn't say, it just says jumbo wall stickers. So we will have to count how many are actually on there. But that was cute for a dollar. Then they had um, this, she's forever scribbling in things. So this is um, a doodle journal, it says. And it is by the brand Crown Jewels. And it says it is a woman-owned company, which is always nice. So it has these little lollipops on the front. And then if you open up the pages, it has like the lines where you could write something in there. I figure if I get her something like this, maybe she won't scribble through all of her school notebooks. <laughs> so we picked up that one. And then they had one that just had this sort of like a swirly design in the back like circles again it's the same brand and then the pages in this one just have polka dots on them and then your lined pages so those were a dollar piece uh it doesn't say how many pages are actually in it then my grandmother wanted a new word search so this is the one that had the strawberries on the background of it and this is by the same company as those doodle journals. Now these were something that I've not seen before. I've seen all of these scrapbooking stickers and like planner stickers and things. These say they are rub on transfers. So on the back it shows you uh, they're putting it onto paper, onto wood, onto like little photo boxes. So the first one, and I only found two in this store and they were the last two that were hanging there. So they have this one with all these little pineapples. They have different sayings on them and your pineapples are showing like different funny faces. And then they had one that have all different little cactuses and succulents. So I thought those were something cool to give a try. Um, I guess they're supposed to be sort of like the things that you would print out on a Cricut machine and then stick to things. I don't have a cutter machine. So I am going to give these a try and see how they work. And it's just something to add a nice little embellishment to projects. Um, and then this store had these little cutting mats in the crafter square section. So it has your little blocks, your rulers, and then it has um, 
your little angle measurements. I think that, what, it's supposed to be like a protractor or something? <laughs> I don't remember that far back in school, but it gives you a 30, a 45, and a 60 degree angle. And then, of course, if you would go on your lines on the outer edge of the square, that would be your 90 degree angle. But this is like a little... It's sort of flexible. You wouldn't want to bend it all the way in half, but it goes um, up to eight inches long and then six inches tall. So you got eight this way and then six up just for cutting like maybe little small pieces of paper or foam or something. But I did pick one of those up while they have it and that will save me on a small project from dragging out our giant cutting mat. So then they had some different signs in the like particle board signs. So this one says pumpkin patch, pick your own farm fresh apples, corn, pumpkins, and gourds. And it has the little red truck. And of course he has pumpkins in the bed of the truck. And I don't know if it will show up on camera or not, but the, um, I think those are called your fenders. The wheel wells, whatever they are, are actually raised up off of the rest of the sign. So it gives it a little bit more dimension. And then they had this one, which says homemade hot apple cider, which is one of my absolute favorite drinks ever. And it says served here. It says mold with cinnamon sticks and cloves. I thought that would be super cute to hang up, especially like over our coffee pot this fall, or if you have a coffee bar in your house, this would be really cute to hang up for that. So we did pick up one of those. Then they had some t-shirts. I clean in t-shirts, so I always end up getting like bleach splashed on them or something stains them. So I don't spend a whole lot of money on just plain t-shirts. I usually go and try to find some at Dollar Tree and our stores today had just gotten like a new shipment in. So my daughter picked up this one. This is one of the Hanes brand tagless shirts. So this is a nice lime green. And then they had, uh, this one is not Hanes, this is Comfort Wash, but it says from the makers of Hanes, so I don't know if you can read that on the tag. Right here it says from the makers of Hanes, so they are like that nice soft t-shirt material, they're not that real stiff scratchy stuff. Um, so this one is just like... I. I guess you'd call it like a dusty rose kind of color. It's like a pinkish, but it's not like a real bright pink or a real dark one. It sort of is muted. And this one is a pocket t-shirt. And it says it is 100% ring spun cotton that is USA grown. So then this one, again, the same brand, that Comfort Wash, which is the maker of Hanes. And this is another one my daughter picked out. This is her absolute favorite color, which is this teal. So again, just another plain little t-shirt. That's fine for her playing around the house, doing arts and crafts, whatever. If it gets stained, it was only a dollar. So I picked that one up for her. And then they had this one, which was super cute. And they only had it in this one color and one size. And this is by Hanes. And it is this really pretty white lace detail shirt. So if I bring it up all around the uh, front of the collar has this bow and this lace detail. And then right up on your uh, shoulders has that lace detail also. So I went ahead and picked that one up for myself. I don't have any plain white t-shirts. All right, and that was the last thing for this store's haul. If you enjoyed this haul, please give us a big thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below if your stores are carrying any of these things or if you have tried those little rub-ons or these silicone sponges because I have never tried these before. I would like to know what you guys think of them. 
and please subscribe if you like our channel and check out more of our content and we will see you guys in the next video.